Yo, what is up everyone back here with another video today. We're going to be going over uh, a swordfish team Kyogre Zacian, whatever it's called uh, Yeah, so pretty much uh, this team varies obviously you guys might see us be like, oh Joe This is a very standard team, you know, obviously it's standard You know, what I mean like the whole point of this channel is to give you guys what I think are the most optimal teams um, for kind of each archetype or at least to get you guys started um, And this is just one of it, you know, it's just like my version of what I think is the most consistent um teams like these are just very centered around like good play as i mentioned i talked about this in the team building video that i did but i feel like pretty much uh when it comes to pokemon like the number one thing that you want to practice is like consistency with regardless of what you use so like having a team with a bunch of options that just forces you to like play well um and be consistent is just like really useful right because it just has like these standard options you can take advantage of um you kind of just have to rely on your own play and like your own game sense excuse me to kind of put yourself in a good spot, right? So, pretty straightforward. I don't think it's uh, too complex, but we're going to go through the team. I'll explain kind of how it's utilized, uh, what its intention is, and then we can kind of work from there. So, obviously, Swordfish is a very popular archetype right now in the metagame. Pretty much the main idea with Swordfish is pretty much being able to exert a bunch of pressure with your Kyogre in your Zacian and Tailwind, or just out of Tailwind, and pretty much consistently being able to deal damage. Now, uh, a couple things I want to talk about before I get into this version of the team. There are some variations you can go with, specifically a Thunderous variation that allows you to kind of, uh, you know, prevent Intimidates coming in as much. Or, uh, you know, obviously having a Trick Room kind of Venusaur mode to the team, right? But, like, that's something that's, like, kind of optional, so it's just something that sometimes people will run, but yeah. Uh, anyway, so for this specific version, this Kyogre is going to be Mystic Water, Water Spout, right? It's pr it's specifically v Tout Speed, Reggie, Lucky, and Tailwind. Like, it's exactly a benchmark for that. Um, and the rest of it, it goes into a little bit of bulk and then the rest into offense, right? So it could just be dealing as much damage as possible. Um, Modest Ogre is a little bit better because you're utilizing Tailwind, which is immediate speed control. Whereas if you were using something like, you know, Airstream, Timid Ogre might be better so you can outspeed stuff like Zacian after one Airstream. So that's kind of the main thing there. Um, besides that, I mean, it's pretty standard. There's nothing too, uh, I guess crazy about it, right? It's just like a Kyogre, you know what I mean? They all kind of run the same way. Um, besides, like, obviously, like, a bit of difference in terms of, like, sometimes how they're EV'd and, like, stuff like that. So, yeah, for the most part, it's fine. The nice thing about this Ogre, too, is it has a good chunk of defense investment. So, it specifically is EV'd a lot in defense. So, it can take stuff like Grassy Glide from, like, Assault Vest Rillaboom, right? Um, and also, too, just so it can kind of eat up Precipice Blades better from Groudon on entry, right? Um, obviously, it takes a little bit away from a special attack, but not enough to, like, seriously impact your calcs um so it's still pretty useful so next up is zacian so this zacian is specifically running the set of behemoth blade swords dance play rough protect one thing i want to uh note or like give of note you can run close combat over swords dance it's kind of like an interchangeable thing close combat rewards you with more immediate offense and being able to snipe and sit more easier right and you can pin certain slots a bit better especially stuff like the alga you actually have something to hit it right um, this team does struggle a little bit with Dialga, right? And this is what most Swordfish teams kind of struggle with. So if you're concerned about your Dialga matchup and you do want to like not have to rely on just Kyogre brute forcing it with Water Spout, I would recommend adding Close Combat over Swords Dance. For this specific version, obviously, this version does have Swords Dance. You can also Swords Dance play rough through it, but usually having something more immediate to like punch through is better, right? But... The nice thing there, uh, besides that, is obviously the Zacian is decently bulky. It has enough bulk to kind of eat up certain hits. It can take a Origin Pulse from uh, Mystic Water Kyogre. Uh, if Kyogre is even a little bit shipped from anything, you know, you're going to be able to take the hits pretty well. And also, too, this Zacian uh, is able to outspeed Reggie Aleki. So it's really nice, right? Because I'm going to actually double check this number here. Let me get that up specifically. I'm literally going into a calculator right now just to just to make sure so I can give you the exact number it is at plus one. 187 speed times 1.5. Uh 280, yeah. So it, it literally exactly um outspeeds red you're lucky by like three points, right? So it's pretty solid. Uh this is a really useful option because you're you know you're not getting uh outsped by Reggie Lucky after an airstream, and you know, in Tailwind, obviously you're exerting enough pressure, right? Um Next up is Tornadus. Tornadus is utilizing a set of Hurricane, Weather Ball, Dark Pulse, Tailwind. Tailwind obviously giving you immediate speed control. Weather Ball is really nice in my opinion, mostly because Char Charizard can give these teams trouble if you don't have enough to respect it, because obviously Kyogre is like your main only check. But if you have something like Tornadus instant in the lead and they lead Charizard into you, you can immediately swap into uh, Kyogre and just go for a Max Geyser. Absolutely demolish Charizard. Like, it will destroy the Charizard. Um... 
And something like that's really useful because it feels like with these teams sometimes it's very weak to like manual sunny days or like, you know, just kind of like route on swapping sometimes. So it, the way to mitigate that is kind of by having options that don't uh, like force you to immediately send out your Kyogre to pressure something. Um, but yeah, besides that, obviously standard set, it's running Dark Pulse, so you can pair it next to Kyogre and go for Dark Pulse plus Water Spouts, dealing a bunch of damage and kind of pressuring the opponent that way. Next up, Regilecki. Standard Sash Regilecki, you have Electroweb Pressure, you can lead uh, Alecki next to Zacian or Kyogre, go for Electroweb Behemoth Blade or Electroweb Water Spout, obviously puts on a bunch of pressure. One thing of note, after an Electroweb, your Kyogre will not outspeed Zacian because of the EVs, right? It's not timid. Um, so if that's something that you want to do, then you'll have to run like timid, like, you know, you probably want to run timid max speed at that point. Right. Um, but yeah, that's like the only thing really, uh, worth discussing there in terms of the interactions, um, with Electroweb. And then Incineroar, obviously pretty standard Incineroar. This Incineroar is running the standard Incineroar spread I like to have on a lot of teams. Uh, obviously a lot of these teams that I'm giving out have a lot of the same Incineroar spread, so it could be worth it um on your guys's like own time if you want to like edit these pace to either lower the incineroar speed so you know that you're always slower and you can get a slower parting shot right and like have a different move besides throw chop because obviously you're not going to be throw chopping before or uh running a little bit faster incineroar right to kind of outspeed it um but yeah i mean that's obviously just kind of a given and then finally we have a Moongus here uh with a calm nature so Calm Amoongus is really interesting because in some regards it's beneficial and other regards it's not, right? So the benefit of Calm Amoongus is outside of Trick Room you are outspeeding Calyrex, right? Now obviously there's a certain drawback to this if the Calyrex is in Trick Room, right? So pretty much because we have Zacian and Incineroar it's okay to be Calm Amoongus in my opinion. However, if there is a certain situation where it's like, oh yeah, I wish like my Amoongus would underspeed Calyrex, you can opt to make it Sassy Amoongus and it's pretty much the same thing, right? Um, it's just a preference thing. I like being faster in Calyrex outside of uh, Trick Room, mostly because we already have a Kyogre and we have a, or not a Kyogre, we have a Kyogre, Incin, and Zacian, right? So that's like more than enough and I feel pretty confident stopping the Trick Room. Uh, but obviously it kind of depends on your preference, right? Uh, so that's something that can be edited as well. If like that's something you guys are uncomfortable with, right? I'm just trying to do with these team building or like not team building, but like team videos, like to give you guys a bit more options here. So you kind of understand the team a bit better, um, and kind of understand the bigger nuances behind it. So, uh, let me know if this, this style of video where I'm like going a little bit extra depth into it, like helps you guys, because I think it's something that's important, but anyways, on to next thing, common pairs, uh, Kyogre Regilecki, as I mentioned, you get the immediate electro pl pressure plus water spout. Um, or Origin Pulse, whatever you want to go for. This works really well, too, if you want to, like, obviously bait them into swapping out their Groudon. What you can do is, is you can swap out your Kyogre, go into Incineroar, Volt Switch back into your Kyogre, now you have pressure, right? Um, and plays like that can give you a lot of mileage pretty early, so it's kind of worth considering. Um, it's just super nice option, right? Uh, it's just one of those nice combinations you can have with, like, the pivoting on the team, and also, you know, obviously having the other option just kind of immediately dealing, like, damage. Um, for the Tornadus and Cinema lead, this is usually a lead when you want speed control immediately and like you want to be able to pressure with your Tornadus mode. Typically, if you're leading Tornadus Incin, you're going to have Zacian and Kyogre in the back, uh, like almost all the time. Uh, you're pretty much just trying to go for Tailwind mode immediately pressure and then like Airstream Water Spout and like, you know, Max Darkness Water Spout, Airstream Behemoth Blade, like whatever, right? And like, that's the main idea there. Uh, pretty straightforward. Also, too, it's nice because you get, like, fast parting shots. So you can, like, tell when parting shot, like, disrupt stuff. And it, it's just super useful overall. Finally, too, uh, we have Amoongus. Uh, or not Amoongus and Zacian. So Amoongus and Zacian are really useful because you can pretty much go for an immediate Rage Powder plus Sword Dance or Rage Powder Behemoth Blade. You also get the benefit of potentially swapping an Incineroar for Zacian and baiting a Spore into that slot, taking it with the goggles, and then getting a Spore of your own off. Um, it's also just super nice because you can even pollen puff your own Zacian, right? Um, with like sword dance. So you can like sword dance, pollen puff yourself back up to full and then just start like dealing damage, right? It really depends on what you're in front of, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's just super useful in that regard. And like, basically if you're bringing this core, typically you're going to have like Zacian, Amoongus, Kyogre, Incin, uh, and you can pretty much pivot those all around to like, just be really efficient and like kind of take out the things you need them to take out. But, um, yeah, I'd say overall, like. A team like this is just very consistent in terms of like, oh, you need to play well. And if you play well, like you're going to win with this team. And if you don't play well, you're not going to do well with this team, right? 
Um, and that I feel like that's like a lot of teams this format. Uh, typically, like a lot of people opt towards uh, hyper offense because it's easier to be consistent with hyper offense because all you're doing is clicking the attacking button a lot of the time. Like obviously you need to pick out targets and like pinpoint that, but it's a lot easier to play than like kind of the bit more position teams. And I would definitely challenge all of you to like at least give it a shot and try and use the pivoty like positioning teams more because I really think it increases like your overall skill level and helps your like game sense. Um, but yeah, a team like this, very consistent. Um, you know, I, I digress there. Like uh, pretty much like consistent team uh, has speed control that you can utilize. Obviously, you have a workable tricker mode with like Insin, Amoongus, uh, Zacian, and Kyogre if like you're in a situation where like your opponent's a trick room. And you can kind of work against that with your two restricteds and like the bulk of an instant Amoongus and Pollen Puff, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing too complicated. I feel like uh, it's, you know, more so a straightforward thing. If you guys would like access to uh, obviously teams early and get access to a bunch of other things like Pokemon EVs, spreads, sets like that, um, all that stuff is up on the Patreon along with just like extra fun stuff for you guys. So I, I incredibly appreciate all support. I mean, it just means a lot, right? Uh, make sure to check out coaching too if you guys would like to improve your game. But uh, once again, guys, thank you for all the support on the video as always. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.